Hundreds of doctors in the East Bay are pleading with their patients to get vaccinated against COVID. We first told you about this story yesterday. Roughly 400 members of the Alameda Contra Costa Medical Association signed an open letter to the public with that message. And joining us with more on their efforts, one of the doctors who signed, Dr. Albert Brooks. He's an OBGYN. Uh, hi, doctor. I, everybody has their own story, but why did you feel strongly about signing this? Well, thank you. I felt very strong about signing this. And the main reason is because we are exhausted in taking care of so many patients with COVID. And in, a, in this fourth surge, it, it's been, you know, one of the worst things that could happen. And we know the vaccine will prevent, will prevent this surge and save lives. And we want to do the best we can to help our patients at this time. And uh, so I've joined along with 500 of our doctors. I'm the president of Washington Township Medical Group, and we've given over 100,000 vaccinations at Washington Hospital. So we know the vaccine is safe, we know it works, and we wanna do everything we can to save lives at this time. Doctor, we were looking at the open letter there a minute ago. What struck me was a very personal, very earnest tone. I mean, you were really trying to reach people saying, look, you know us, you've laughed with us, you've cried with us, please trust us. Uh, assuming that is part of the strategy. Absolutely. Uh, when I was giving vaccinations at our clinic, I would talk to the patients directly. Some were there and they were actually hesitant and, not, and about to not get the vaccine. And I would tell them, I've recommended for my family, I want to protect your family and I want to protect your children. And I, we also have to give it to pregnant patients as well because we know that protects the baby from being born prematurely. So it, it's, you know, as the Hippocratic Oath says, we don't want to do any harm, we're trying to help and this helps. So how do you get people to listen, doctor? It's one thing if they're sitting across from someone like you and really listening, but there seems to be this hardcore of people who will not get vaccinated. I, will we ever reach them? I think we can reach them, but we have to have more trusted messengers, people who the patients trust. And that can be a member of the church, that can be someone that they respect in the community. Uh, it can be uh, a friend, uh, a family member. And so uh, the main way to get them is to do what they've done at several churches in the East Bay, is listen to the, to the patients who say, I don't want to get the vaccine. Listen to what they say and take it seriously and then add suggestions, say, did you think about uh, the fact that you could protect your children? And lots of times, if you bring other things to bear in their mind, you'll eventually get them to relent and agree to get the vaccine. So I know this open letter, the one in question, it's uh, just came out really, I think yesterday, but any feedback that's positive? Are you getting kind of any reaction from patients? Yes, we're starting to get many more phone calls of patients who were previously hesitant. And now they're starting to say, well, maybe, you know, we'll go ahead and do it. And I think it, there's some good signs as the number of phone calls have increased. It seems like we need to just sort of drive you all around the area and have you talk directly to people. So this is, I hope, the next best thing. Thank you very much, Doctor. Oh, let me ask you something on a related subject. Just yesterday, we did a story on a medical group in Idaho now trying to treat only COVID patients most likely to survive. That's how stretched they are on resources. So how are things in East Bay hospitals? Well, right now, uh, as far as my hospital, I know that we have capacity in our, our, our ICU. So we're right now, the East Bay hospitals, appear to have capacity. I've, I've heard from other docs at other hospitals. We still have capacity here. All right, well, and that's... we've actually seen a plateau in the number of cases. No, I was just going to say... Oh, no, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just saying good that... Um, well, not good, but it sounds like we're not at the breaking point. But, I mean, it could happen, doctor. Oh, absolutely. And, and at our hospital, we have... In, when we have resources that reach a certain level, 
we will go into an emergency situation and then decide how we're going to triage the use of, of all of our um, resources for emergency care. That, that could include the operating room, that, it could, that could, could include uh, triaging patients in the ER as they come in. So we have a whole plan laid out a, at Washington Hospital for that um, possibility. All right, Dr. Albert Brooks, again, uh, thank you so much for your time. I know how busy you must be. Uh, we appreciate it very much. Thank you.